Father's Prayers, um, Part 3, uh, Section on Resurrection, page 164. Please allow me to become someone who shines in history. Father, the path that we are going is not a path we are going for some individual. Please let us understand that at the same time that it is a path for ourselves, it is a path for the world and the nation. And we're not living for some individual being. We are living for the world. Please let us come to understand that when we were born, this being called I, if I am so-and-so Kim, I was not born for so-and-so Kim alone. I, so-and-so Kim, was born in order to go this way. Please allow us to be proud of this of our own accord and to become those who say that this is the duty of our lives. And please allow us to understand its value. We earnestly hope and desire, Father, that you will let us know that the purpose for having become Unification Church members is to find a central substantial being who can let us see this problem clearly and solve it and make its value even more precious. Father, we've understood that going this path should be more urgent than anything else in the world. If we ask for whom we've gathered, we've not gathered for the teacher of the Unification Church, and we've not gathered for anything of the Unification Church. Since we want to go forward for the nation, the Unification Church is needed. And since the, this is that is the nation and the world which the Unification Church is hoping for, we are believing in and following it. Since this is the nearest path to that goal, we're following this path. But Father, please to not allow our unchanging hearts, which seek to go to the nation, to the Unification Church, to the world, to the Unification Church, to the cosmos, to the Unification Church, become dejected. Please allow those hearts to quietly, calmly, endure, and go forth. Please let the sound of the heartbeat coming from our hearts, and the sound of the heartbeat coming from the heart of heaven, become one with our bodies. And please let our very being be able to take on the role of arteries to let the feelings of our lives move and flow. And please allow us as the pulse of those arteries to be able to shine forever in the annals of history and to be able to become the friends of all people in our lives. Please let us realize that now at this time you're asking us whether that would, wouldn't be our hope. Where are our minds flowing now? Where are our bodies staying? Please don't let us remain at the point of our selfish minds of the past. Please don't let us be those who hide our bodies in a self of the past which can be ruined or who remain in a position where we can be punished. Please allow us to be able to have minds and bodies in a position able to take on the burden of your mind and able to make the minds of humanity on earth bloom. Please allow us to become your princes and princesses who kneel down before you, Father, and determine our loyalty and who imagine an I who is able to become a light of all. Please allow us to become those who are able to quietly, gently grow and to quietly, gently establish our individual positions which are able to blossom with a fervor of adoration or positions which are able to shine with a fervor of longing. We'll have to rouse ourselves to action, having hope in a shining tomorrow. We'll have to rouse ourselves to action having hope in the eye of the shining tomorrow. We'll have to rouse ourselves to action for the sake of the shining new kingdom of heaven. In order to do that, we'll have to become appropriate vessels for it. We'll have to become those who are able to shine internally and externally. And furthermore, we must become your sons and daughters who bow our heads before this relationship, preordained by heaven, and that we must become children who, who are able to call you father sincerely then in the midst of that love we will sing of our daily lives and we earnestly ask you beloved father to allow us all to become your sons and daughters who in that situation are able to praise the work of each day in a holy way please let the remaining time become glorious in relation to praising ourselves please let this become a true position we've humbly prayed all these things in the name of the true parents august 31st 1969.